I hold in my hands this evening documents that have created a political storm across the national capital. This is the report, the order of the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal issued on the 31st of December 2010 and this report has blown serious holes in the government's and the CBI's defense of Otavio Kothroki. In this report, R.P. Totlani, judicial member and R.C. Saksharma, who is an accountant member of the Income Tax Tribunal, say that money was paid to Otavio Kothroki and to Win Chadda. This flies in the face of everything the government and the CBI have been saying over the last several years. The ghost of Bofas is back and how and a political storm has been whipped up. The fodder for the latest boom of the Bofors gun comes from a decision of the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal. Headlines today was the first channel to dig out this order. It has established the Bofors money trail. It has nailed those who benefited. It's given the bank account details. Ashish Maharishi with these headlines today, national exclusive. Commission was paid to Otavio Quattrochi and Win Chadda in the Bofors deal. Headlines today exposes how and where the bribe was paid. The Income Tax Department reveals the money trail in the Bofors kickbacks. Illegal payments made to Q and Win as the Government of India's policy did not allow middlemen in defence deals. This order of the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal suggests that despite the Indian government's insistence not to appoint or pay any agent, Bofors entered into a fresh consultancy agreement with Messrs A Services Limited of UK in November 1985 at the behest of Otavio Kothroki. According to this agreement, Messrs A Services was appointed as a consultant to Messrs Bofors for getting the award of the contract of 155mm gun system from the Government of India. Headlines today has in its exclusive possession documents which show how Bofors deliberately chose not to disclose this deal with A E Services in their communications with the Ministry of Defence. Here's the Bofors money trail. On the 3rd of September 1986, Bofors remitted a sum of 7.34 million US dollars to account number 185153 of Messrs A E Services Limited at Nordi Finance Bank, Zurich. This after payment of 29,615 lakh rupees, equivalent to 20% of the contract value to Bofors on the 2nd of May 1986 by the Government of India. The Zurich account of Messrs A E Services Limited had been opened by its director Miles Tweedale Stott just a fortnight earlier. Of this, 7.12 million US dollars were transferred from A E Services account to the Union Bank of Switzerland's Geneva account number 254-561-60W. This account was in the name of Panama-based Messrs Colbar Investment Limited and it was controlled by Otavio Quattrochi and his wife Maria. Enquiries further revealed that while opening the coal bar account with the Union Bank of Switzerland, Quattrochi had mentioned his address in India as Colony East, New Delhi, India. This was a fake and non-existent address. The income tax appellate body also nails Vin Chadda in its order. Bofors also had another consultancy agreement with Panama-based Messrs. Svenska Incorporated since 1978. The Government of India's policy required foreign bidders to remove agents and reduce the commission from the deal price. In January 1986, Bofors agreed to pay 3.2% commission to Messrs. Svenska Inc. Svenska was simply a front company for Win Chadda. The opposition has gone ballistic at the Congress. They want a separate investigative team to get to the bottom of this muck. But the Congress seems to be in no hurry to give answers for these uncomfortable questions. And we are not going to be hurried into reacting to it. Certainly we will react, but give us time to look into it. We have only just learnt of it. With Ashish Mehrshi and Sandeep Bamzai, Bureau Report headlines today.